Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look through the menu system on the Z30. This is just literally recording the menu and talking as we go through it. So if you're not interested in the menu system of this Z30 then this probably isn't the video for you. But without further ado, here we go. So I'm just going to go into here first and show you the firmware version which is 1.10 which I've just recently updated it just so you know we're on the same firmware or if there's a, not a feature that's available for you it's there. So playback menu this is the same as all of them really the only thing on to here we've got picture review which I have off on to here um, because it's mainly for video and I'm not interested in re-looking at the picture. Rotate tool on um, slideshow and ratings and all that sort of stuff I've turned off and playback options I'm not interested in any of those because it's all about the photos and I'm not interested in photos for it but saying that we're going to go into the photo menu now so you've got reset at the top storage folder I always rename all of mine to the cameras Z30, uh, 50, ZFC etc etc um, so it's into there file naming TL3 so 3 is for the 30, 5 is for the 50, Z is for the ZFC, 8 is for the 8, etc, etc. Choose image area, DX. Um, yeah, we're not full frame, we're not doing one-to-one -one or anything else like that, or 16 by 9. Image quality, raw um, and fine, which is what I normally have it at. Image size, usual options. Raw recording, 14-bit or 12-bit. I always do 14 bit. Yeah, I probably wouldn't notice the difference. Just being honest. Um, let me just come to that. ISO sensitivity. Well, I manually set everything so I don't really care for any of this auto stuff that's in there. But if you're doing auto, you can control that. White balance. Auto one. I quite like that. It's, it's got a bit more of a warmer body to it. Picture control. I record in flat. Um, just because I want to be the one in control of adding all the bits and pieces in. Picture control, so you can load and save all your picture and control settings. I don't use that. Color space, I leave it on Adobe. Active D lighting, I've just got it on normal, as you see fit. Long exposure, noise reduction on. High ISO noise reduction, normal. Uh, vignette control, normal. Diffraction compensation, on. Auto distortion control on, flickering reduction reduction shooting off. Um, yeah, I don't tend to have that because I want to set it up and get it right rather than this taking control. Um, it does work pretty well if you want it on, so it's up to you. But I like to be able to really see that I've got a sync problem and I can see that quite clearly when I've got that off. And then it's up to me to sort it out. I appreciate this might sort it but sometimes it masks it and I can't really tell. Uh, flash control, well, I've got no flashes on here, so nothing into there. Release mode, it's on single, but you can choose whichever. Focus mode, I always have it on continuous um, because I use back button focusing. Auto focus area, I always have it on single point. Um, yeah, just is. Auto bracket exposure. Uh, multiple exposures off because we're not using it. Uh, HDR high dynamic range is off. Interval timer shooting off. Time lapse off. Time lapse video is really good on this. I've got to be honest. Um, get nice high res uh, footage. Focus shift shooting as well. I haven't used it on this camera. I've used it on the Z50 and the ZFC. Really like it. Really like it. Um, silent photography is off because I'm not interested in that on here as well. Um, video recording menu, obviously reset at the top. Again, I've kept the same file naming convention that I use. The frame on here, obviously we've got various U1, 2 and 3 settings at the top here, which is quite nice. I tend to only use the one. I use 25 frames per second and that's it, a standard. Video quality is just high. Uh, movie type is MOV. I prefer MOV, use Max. Hey ho. ISO sensitivity, again, I don't have it on auto, so it doesn't really bother me. White balance is set to that warm again that I really like. And flat again for the picture control. Uh, active delighting, normal uh, ISO, high ISO, noise reduction. Vignette control, diffraction compensation on, 
auto distortion control, flicker reduction. Now, I do have it on auto on video because sometimes I don't always see it on the small screen. I tend to see it when I'm looking through uh, for photos. I don't tend to see it when I'm recording because there might be a light in the background that's just going off. In fact, that light there used to just flicker like mad and I never noticed it on the small screen. It was only when I got it on the big screen. Um, metering, overall metering because that's what I want for video. Release mode, so, for, so that's so you can take photos while you're um, recording what sort of format is it going to use, continuous or single frame. Focus mode, full time autofocus um, because I've got it on the face. And here we go, area mode, people because I, I want it to pick me up all the time. Um, electronic VR, I've got it off because I'm always stable with this. If I was walking around, then I might have it on, different kettle of fish. Microphone sensitivity, whichever, I've got this set to nine because that's what works with the mics that I have on, that I've set up into there. Um, attenuator is disabled, don't need it. Frequency response, I've got it on wide, but really I should have it on vocal range um, because most of my stuff is vocal, obviously. Wind noise reduction is off and time code um, I don't use on here. Um, I could do it with output and it will go through to this atmosphere, but I don't record time codes to be fair. It's not something I use, so I'm not interested in it. You might well be. Custom settings again, reset. Autofocus, so we've got autofocus C priority selection, and I've got it on focus. Um, that's because I use back button focusing. Uh, selection priority again is on focus rather than release. Focus tracking with lock on, um, how quick it resets. Focus points used, we use all of them. Um, store points by rotation, yes, and I love that they brought this feature in. Um, I think I first saw it on the ZFC, so when I turn my camera to portrait, it remembers the position I had it in for portrait, which is great when I am actually shooting portraits. Um, AF activation is off or AF on only because it's back button focusing. I don't want it on the shutter button at all. Limit auto focus area mode selection. Um, yeah, that's everything. I could turn some of that off if I didn't want it, but I don't. Wrap around, yes, because I like to wrap around when I get to the edge of the screen. Uh, manual focus mode on, dynamic assist on. Why wouldn't you? Low light autofocus on, so that puts that little light that you see in the dark at the front of the camera come on to help illuminate what it is looking at. Easy exposure compensation off. Um, yeah, I, I want to be in control of my camera. I don't want the camera being in control. I appreciate his help, but I don't need it. Maybe I do. Uh, center weighted area, um, that's telling you the average or distance, and I've gone for eight, so really quite tight. Uh, Fine-tune optimal exposure. Um, I'm not going to continue that, but you can have a look at that if you want to. Uh, shutter release button off, because I don't want it to change that. Self-timer, set it between 2, 5, 10 and 20, which is quite nice. Number of shots it's going to take and interfills between those shots, which is nice as well. So you can do a bit, little burst. Um, power off delay, um, playback 10 seconds, menus one minute, picture review four seconds, standby timer 10 minutes. Um, you can change these for yourself. Um, these are just set because I don't need it. Um, menus and stuff actually now would be better than one minute because there's a chance that I might talk and waffle a bit longer. Um, picture review limited because I don't like it so much. And standby timer I've got to 10 minutes because when I've got it on I don't want it turning off if I'm using it to set up and I'm looking at the screen to get all my lighting and my angles right. I don't want it resetting. CL mode shooting speed so it's going to do three frames per second for the uh, low mode continuous shooting. Maximum shots per burst 100. Nice. Um, exposure delay mode, yeah, nothing else to that. Shutter type, auto, mechanical, electronic. 
I've just got it on auto. I don't care. I'm not using it really for photography. Uh, file number sequence is on because I think that's important. Apply settings to live view. Now I have this as a shortcut in my menu options so I can turn it on or off. And um, because sometimes it's dark and I want to see what the camera is actually looking at, um, but I still want it to record dark. So yeah. Framing grid display off. I mean, you can have it on whichever. I don't need it onto this. All I use is the leveler, self spirit level in it. Um, if I was using it for photography, I would have that on. Focus peaking, I've got it on peak too, but actually I don't use it um, in the way that I've got the camera set up. View in continuous mode, on. Flash sync speed, well I'm not using flash, but these are all flash settings, the shutter speed, exposure, yada yada yada. Bracket in order is normal, which is meter, under and over. But you can change that. Customize the eye menu, I do do that. I do change some of these things over. Um, this one's for photography, so it's not changed because I don't do photos on it. Um, we'll get back to the um, video ones in the next section, the G section. Um, custom controls for shooting, so you can change what the buttons do, which is really neat. And then you can change what the buttons do on the back as well, which is really neat. In fact, that thing protect really a noise out of me. So let's change that to rating. I must do that on my other cameras as well. Uh, Customise command dials, so you can change the orientation from front to back, change what the dials do, etc. Uh, release button to use dial, well, yeah, no. Reverse indicators, so plus or minus the other way around. Power zoom button options, well, yeah, not using that, so not interested in that, so you can go a certain chunk in at a time. Customize eye buttons, this is for the movies, I do change that, so I have the Bluetooth connection into there. Um, I think everything else is pretty much standard. I think the only thing I add on is the Bluetooth. Just because I send certain bits to it and things like that. Custom controls, again, this is for video at the front there, changes all the controls. Autofocus speed, I've just got it set to zero. Um, never needed anything else, maybe I should. Um, autofocus tracking sensitivity is set to four. Again, default, not needed anything else. It works for what I need it to. Power zoom button's not used in any way. Um, highlight display, display pattern. Well, no, I'm not having the zebras and stuff onto there, so I don't need that. Uh, red record frame indicator on, which is great. That's something that's in the new firmware where it puts a red line all around it when you're recording, even on an output screen as well, which is amazing. Um, yeah, and I wish that had have been on ZFCs and everything else so you could tell really easily that it's recording. So that's all the video options into there. Format memory card, save user settings, which only saves the current setting that you're on or the default. Reset languages, time zone, monitor brightness, monitor color balance, rec lab brightness, lamp brightness, sorry. Um, it's fine as it is. Information displays B, dark on light, because that's just how I like it. Auto fine tune in options. Well, I'm not using that, but I can fine tune lenses and set that up. Non CPU lens data. I don't think I've used any on this particular camera, so there's nothing in there. Save focus position, yes, I love that. Save zoom position, PZ lenses, no, I want it reset each time. Um, image comment, off, because I'm not taking photos, same as copyright. Beep controls, off, because I hate the beeps. Touch controls, on, quite useful. Self-portrait mode, not used it on here, don't intend to. HDMI. Outputs auto, and in advanced, output range is auto again. Um, external recording control on or off. I've got it off at the moment, um, but it just means that I could record from the Atmos and start recording on here at the same time. Airplane mode, does what it says. Connect the smart devices off at the moment, again, does what it says. Connect to computer, again. USB, type of mode it is, whether it's an iPhone or 
standard USB connection. I don't use iPhone anymore. Wireless remote, um, ML options. Haven't got that, don't use it. Can't imagine I would. Um, especially with a smartphone, it works really well with that. Conformity marketing, marking, so that's just that. USB power delivery, amazing. I love the fact that I can have this connected to a V-mount battery and it just powers through. Brilliant. Uh, what else we got? Energy saving, photo modes on. Yeah, because I don't use it. Uh, locked for a slot empty. Uh, no carding, basically. Yeah, keep it locked. Save load menu settings, so you can save those. Um, and it just drops it onto there. Great. Onto... Uh, the SD card, I believe, and then firmware version. Bottom menu is a retouch menu, same as all the others every time. Yeah, fancy effects. I don't, I do everything on the computer. Um, and then you've got your menu options, so adding various bits in menus on here. Haven't got so many on this particular one because obviously this is just for a single purpose. Um, I don't use it for anything else. But my camera, like the ZFC that's recording at the moment, or Z50 or something like that, it literally has got loads in there that I just got quick access to, like turning on the smart uploads and things like that, um, and the live view and everything into there. So that is a quick run through on all the menus. I hope you've seen the answers that you were looking for into there and it's got anything. If you need me to expand on anything or you've got any questions about anything in there, Drop something in the comments down below. It's great to have you all the way through this far if you did get it. Like and subscribe, really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Good.